Hello, everybody. Um, I'm going to record this at the risk of sounding like a fat man. Because right now, where I am, pollen is so thick. Is she so thick? She is so thick. She really don't care how you feel. She don't care what you need. She got here to do her job, and that's it. She's so thick, in fact, that I don't even see the bees and the wasps messing with her. Like, she's killing us all slowly. I'm not sure where she came from or what she was doing over the winter. Maybe she was in the gym. But it's hard to breathe out here. And I'm finding myself wheezing. and it's It's been ridiculous, honestly. I've never experienced pollen like this in my life. I am so happy that it's kind of rainy today because Paula is not even letting Zertek do her job. She's just ruthless this year. And um, I'm going to try my best because, whoa, you know what I mean? I don't know if you got pollen where you're at, but if you do, you know what I'm talking about. This is GMO pollen. It's not regular. She is not. But outside of my rant about pollen, I hope you all have been doing well. You know what's crazy? I've been doing really, really well like suspiciously well and um you know i've been journaling i've been working out i have been doing a lot of introspection and finding out a lot of things about myself that helped me grow um i even went with my family to the zoo and i petted a goat for the first time and maybe that's not a big deal to you, but it is to me because it was on my bucket list. Now, mind you, I did want it to be a baby goat. Um, and that didn't happen because the baby goats were a little shy. However, it was a goat. Like, gotta be, you gotta be grateful about the small things. It definitely bit me. But that's because I was wearing body glaze. My sister did bring that to my attention. You know the body glaze that's popular on TikTok? And everybody's buying it. Well, I decided to buy their oils. And um, I wore that or whatever. And the goat wanted to eat my hand more than they wanted to eat the pellets. And I can understand why. Because the pellets did have a strange smell. But, yeah. So, don't ever wear body glaze to the zoo. I shouldn't have to tell you that. I shouldn't have to, I shouldn't have to tell myself that. But here we are. That's a lesson. That's another lesson. And like I said, everything's going well. I'll even be starting like a little gig to make a little bit of money so that the other business I want to start, I'll have the funds to go ahead and fund that business. And I think that's so cool because I've been waiting on this little gig to come through since last year. And last year when it came through, I couldn't find my license because we were homeless at that time. You know what I mean? So it's been a lot of great things happening and I don't have much to complain about. And if I'm honest, it's driving me crazy. It's driving me mad. And I don't mean in that like toxic way where there are people who have to constantly feed drama into their life. And if they're not, their life doesn't feel normal. So they create chaos. I don't mean like that. And I don't mean in that way where everything's going well, but you're depressed. I don't know how old, and I'm telling my age, I don't know how old some of you are, but there used to be this commercial about depression medication, and it would be like all of these people in these fun um, in these fun moments in their life or fun events, and they would have to put on a smiley mask in order to pretend like they're happy. Like, I'm not experiencing that either. I just feel hella numb. Like, I feel like there's this call to do more in my life and to experience more and to make this major decision that I know has been at the back of my mind forever to make. And it's like, if you ever watch Frozen 2, which I really don't, I don't like Frozen 2, but I have kids, so I got to do what I got to do. Um, the first Frozen was bomb. Second Frozen, I don't really know. But you know that thing that kept calling her? And when she finally did, like Elsa, it started, it kept calling Elsa. It was just like, ah, ah. Like it just kept calling her, calling her, calling her. And she kept low key trying to like not pay attention to it because she finally had friends and family in her life and she had a kingdom under control and everybody knew she had her powers and she was chilling. Like it was nothing wrong. But Elsa was in her head big time because she can hear and feel that there was more calling her. And right now I am experiencing that on a really 
big level in a really big way in a major way and i don't know what to do about it because i feel ridiculous like i was at the zoo like i said i was at the zoo on sunday and i'm looking around at my family and um i'm happy and laughing with them and noticing that wow this is the first time in a long time all of us got to really hang out um and experience something that we've never experienced before and i'm still hearing that oh whatever that i can't remember how the sound went in the movie okay anyway disney would probably sue me but you know the sound i'm talking about and i keep hearing it and i keep understanding the assignment and i'm just like am i creating drama am i the drama like am, am i the one that's really um trying to create this narrative where there has to be more there's that i'm just gonna remain um you know distant distant from the happiness that's available to me um but then last night i'm watching a video and i learned about dharma and dharma is essentially that call and it can be seasonal um because when it comes to dharma or i'm going to call it in a sense life purpose although dharma which i'm learning can be way more than that um it, we, we think that when we find our life purpose, it's one thing. It's kind of like you stand in this, in this long line, if you were to envision it. You stand in this long line and you get a little sheet from God and God slides it over and he's like, uh, that's your life purpose right there. That's what you're going to be doing for the rest of your life. And um, I hope that you can figure out how to make that work for you. Or we think that we're going to just get this divine lightning strike information download where we totally understand who we are in this world and what we're supposed to do and it's just going to be that i am guilty of that i have thought that for most of the years of my life but one thing about dharma is it can be seasonal and you can be called to different things at different times and right now what i'm being called to do um would it make sense to anybody because it doesn't make sense to me it doesn't make any sense to me but if I am going to follow my heart and follow how I feel, it makes perfect sense. Because when I think about myself in this situation, I am happy. I feel free. I feel more creative just from thinking about myself in this situation. And I can't explain why. I really can't explain why. Like, I have an explanation for everything else. Like, when I think about my weight. I think about the fact that I feel called to exercise. Oh, because I'm overweight, like, and I want to look different. And I want to feel different. That makes sense. When I think about the fact that I want to bake again, I think about, oh, it's because I want to create a, um, a, a source of income for myself, and it gives me an avenue to be creative. When I think about the calling to make these videos, these videos, I think, Oh, I'm meant to put myself out in the world. And this is a part of my of my purpose because when I share my story in my life with people that I encounter on a daily basis, it changes their life and it changes mine as well. So this is my purpose for making these YouTube videos. It's also because of the fact that it gives me a sense of accountability and it allows me to answer that call that's been there for so long to, you know, make YouTube videos. So that makes sense. But when it comes to my life and the things that I really want for myself, I feel so selfish in making those decisions. And I'm not sure as to why. It's almost as if I need the conflict in order to make the decision easier because then I'll have a logical explanation as to why I'm moving the way that I'm moving. And it's funny because the universe don't play that. It's like, it's not going to give me that little sprinkle of chaos that I need in order to be like, you know what? Enough is enough. It's like, no, I'm going to give you that peace and serenity. And you hold on to the knowledge of what it is that you need to do. And you prepare yourself for that. I've never experienced this in my life. And I hope that someone out there knows what I'm talking about. Because I'm truly trying to figure out if I'm experiencing dharma or depression because i don't feel depressed but i also know depression can be a little sneaky you know what i mean so i'm not out here trying to create a scenario where i'm so miserable 
and things have to change right now because when I first started this channel I was feeling like that honestly I felt kind of hopeless I felt like everything was everything and right now I don't know if I'm in a sense of acceptance about my life and where I am and that's why I feel numb because I understand where I am and where I want to go but I'm not trying to make it a problem or if I'm just truly crazy <laughs> you know what I mean so if anybody else is experiencing this and feeling this, I don't have any encouraging words, but I want you to know you're not alone. And I also want you to know that it's okay to not be content or complacent with where you are if you feel a calling towards something greater. Because we don't always understand what that calling is or what it's for or, or why we have it, but just know that it's knowing that it's there, acknowledging that you hear it and that you feel it and making a plan to work towards whatever that calling may be um, is important. It's important because it's there for a reason. It's absolutely there for a reason. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know what the reason is. And I will never know what that reason is for you specifically. Um, sometimes we don't find that out until later on. As they say, hindsight is twenty twenty. But whatever it is, listen, slow your body down and listen to that call. Um, like I said, you might not understand the why, but you'll be happy you answered it. And I'm going to believe that when I answer this call and as I progress into answering this call, it'll bring me the joy and the happiness that I so, I don't want to say desperately seek, but that I practice every day to um, appreciate and to contain and to feel so yeah other than that i hope you guys are having an amazing day and uh go do something to make yourself happy it doesn't have to be drastic but something the life is too short and groceries are too high and people are too crazy for you not to think about yourself at least once today and do something to make yourself smile all right have an amazing day talk to you later